Okay, let's find our mountain pose this morning or afternoon if you're in afternoon time. Spread your toes, with those knees going toward your second toes, sitting bones down, shoulders back and down, and get the core activated. Support your spine with those ribs toward your spine and feel that lengthening up through the crown. Spread your toes, sink evenly into your feet. And just take a moment to focus inward in your yoga perspective, getting ready for your practice. Breathing, exhaling tension. And then an inhalation, bring your arms to shoulder level, but keep your shoulders down. Stretch those fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch out to the front, shoulders still down. And then clasp your hands behind you. Press the fingers toward the core as you lift your heart. Stretch your head back. Exhale over. And just take a moment to deepen into that position. Hands up, head down. Circle your chin around, releasing your neck. Relax your shoulders. Bend your knees and spread at the bottom of your spine, working your way all the way back up and lifting your heart. Coming into that back bend, just stretch out through the top of your head. Drop your shoulders, take a new breath, and relax. And then on an inhalation, come on up, releasing your arms. Just take a moment, feel what's going on as that circulation increases and energy flows through you. And again, arms reaching out, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, shoulders down. Clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. So shift the fingers in one position over, lift your heart, stretch your head back, and again, exhale and pivot. Deepen again as far as you'd like today. Feel your body, notice what's going on. Maybe lift your sitting bones for that leg stretch. And bending your knees again, wind your way slowly back into that upper body for your back bend. Shoulders dropping, head reaching away, and heart lifting. And on an inhalation, come upright into mountain pose. Take a moment, noticing what's going on for you, and get ready for our side stretches. So let's keep one hand down, the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away and lean, no twist, over to the side. Push the foot you're leaning away from down to expand those ribs apart as you reach your hand and head away. Make sure you're not leaning forward. Get that rib area really stretching and that spine moving sideways. And then inhale up, release your arm. Feel the sides a little different now, so let's balance it out. Arm out, palm to the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Spread your toes, stretch your arms, stay facing forward as you lean over and push the foot you're leaning away from down. And again, make sure you're still facing the front with your hips and shoulders, letting those ribs get a good stretch apart and feel that spine in its lateral motion. Inhale back to the top and release. Circle those shoulders a couple of times, back and down, and get ready for our twist. So stretching the base of the spine and base of the skull apart will get those bones separating a little bit more and able to twist. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasp your elbows, spread your toes, stretch your spine apart, and exhale to twist. Take a breath, and another exhalation, pivot over. And just come with the arms by your ears as deeply down as you'd like. Lift the sitting bones, take a few breaths, Exhaling and deepening. Stay in your twist as you work your way up. And lift your heart as you get to the top, coming in upper body back bend, not overworking that lower back while you're twisting. Take a breath. 
Shoulders dropping, elbows reaching away. And then inhale, upright, exhale to the center. Switch your arms, balancing things out. And again, stretch, keeping the arms by your ears, twisting as you exhale. A breath in, and exhale over. And just let those bones stretch apart as you sink into that forward pivot. Keep your weight on both feet as evenly as you can. And on an inhalation, stay in your twist as you work your way up into that upper body back bend. Lift your heart, drop your shoulders. And again, no pressure in that lower back. Stretch it out. Keep breathing. Inhale upright. Exhale around to the center. Bring your arms up, but your shoulders down, coming into extended mountain. And then keep your arms next to your ears. We'll pivot at the hips and parallel to the floor with your upper body. Stretch it out, everything straight and long. And then just drop into ragdoll and head. Knees lifting, sitting bones lifting, head dropping. Pull in a little deeper if you want a little extra low back stretch with your hands behind your legs. And then hands back to the center. Bend your knees slightly and just wind all the way back. Shoulders back and down and into mountain pose once more. As you get back into your mountain pose position, just take a moment feeling that spine as your energy is increased from that warm up of your six spine directions. Let's roll the shoulders a couple of times and turn your feet slightly out. Bend your knees toward your toes, not beyond. We'll do another little twist. So we're gonna take the shoulder across. And remember, stretch the spine apart so it's got room to twist. Exhale, bring the shoulder down toward your knee on the opposite leg. And turn your whole body to the side as you do that. So hips, ribs, shoulder, not just your neck, turn into that twist. Bring that shoulder maybe a little deeper, raise the sitting bones maybe a little bit more. And then exhale, coming back to the center. Again, remember, no pressure in the knees, just positioning. Stretch the spine apart, sitting bones and crown away. Exhale, shoulder coming across to that opposite knee. And again, turn your whole body to the side as you do that. Hips, ribs, shoulder, everything. Bring that shoulder maybe a little deeper as you push those sitting bones up and back and away. And again, exhale back to the center. Round just slightly and come back up. And the shoulders back and down again and then feet to the front, back into mountain pose. Feel that upper body a little bit more energized from that twisting motion. And let's do our pelvic tilts. So again, turning the feet slightly out, knees toward your toes, not beyond, just the same way we just did, hands above your knees, no pressure, just position those shoulders above your toes. And this time we're gonna go into that lower body. So sitting bones go back, Chest forward, ribs drop, and look to the front. Nice little back bend through your whole spine. And then sitting on stuck down and forward, pivoting that whole pelvis as you pull in your ribs and look down between your feet. So a nice forward bend, lengthening through the whole back of your body. Inhale, back bending, pushing those sitting bones way back. Feeling that whole pelvis moving as you open your heart to the front. Exhaling, contracting, and again, rounding forward. Inhale a couple more times, maybe. Inhaling to the front. Exhaling and rounding. And just feeling that whole spine working today. Breathing with it. Exhaling and relaxing. And the next time you're forward, inhale back upright, turn the feet to the front, returning to staff position. Once more, noticing all that circulation through your spine, through your body. Take a moment and breathe. Bring your arms out to shoulder level, stretch it out. Fingertips are reaching, 
palms toward the floor, spread your toes, bend your elbows, fingertips together, pull the elbows slightly back, opening your heart. Exhale, hands, fingertips together. Inhale, bring your arms way out, feel that chest expansion as you bring those arms toward the back and returning them, fingertips together as you exhale. Once more, inhale, opening, exhale together. Inhale, really open, bring it way back, as far or not as your body wants to go. Arms still, shoulder level as you bring your fingertips together and exhale down. Feel your shoulders a little bit more energized once more. And bring your hands to clasp, just gently shift the fingers one position over. It'll feel weird, that's okay. But we want to balance our bodies, remember, in yoga and do things that we don't habitually do. And then bring your fingertips up under your chin and your elbows way in. Feel that back of your body stretch a little bit. And then as you inhale, bring your arms out and way up as you tip your chin toward the ceiling and look up, but keep stretching through the back of your neck. Filling your lungs, filling your body. Exhale and bring your elbows back down as you face forward. Crunch those elbows slightly in. Feel the back of your body open. So angel breath, inhale, bring those wings up and lift your face to the ceiling toward the heavens. And exhale, bringing those elbows down and in as you face forward, stretch the back of the neck. Once more, inhaling, excuse me, lifting up, breathing in, filling your lungs, filling your body, filling your breath. Exhaling, coming back and down. And releasing your arms back to the side. Just take a moment noticing what you're feeling in your body as that lung capacity may be expanded a little bit and those shoulders work just slightly. And let's bring our hands to prayer position. Inhale, bringing those hands toward the ceiling. Keep looking at your thumbs as you bring them back behind you. Nice upper body back bend, lifting your heart. Stretch your head and hands back. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Pivot at your hips. Come on over and drag dog, just dropping down. Arms toward the floor. Slide your hands up under your knees, come into that halfway up stretch, lengthening, breathing, exhaling back down. And again, bending your knees, inhaling, bring your hands to your heart. Let's do another back bend with those hands going up and behind you, lifting your heart. And exhale, hands to your heart, coming into mountain pose. Spread your toes, let's do our balance warm up. So lift your toes, get that ball of the foot area connecting as well as along with your heel. Lifting the arch, bring that bottom of outside of the little toe side down to the floor. Spread your toes out, but don't grip. You grip with your toes, that lifts the base of the toes and ball of your foot and gives you less support. Make sure your ankle, knee, and hip are aligned with that second toe all the way up to your shoulder. Activate that core supporting your low back. So ribs toward your spine and up, shoulders back and down. Ground to the ceiling, spread out those toes and bring your other foot up. And again, you may need to roll in to make sure that foot doesn't cross over and bring it up as far as it wants to come today. Keep it near the floor if you need to. And just circle your ankle so we work the ankle making sure we don't get old and inflexible. And after a few circles, both directions, flex and point and straighten things out as you bring the foot back down. Shift to the other side. And again, fall of the foot down, get that whole bottom of your foot supporting you with the arch lifting, the toes spreading out, everything lining up through your whole body, making sure that core is supporting you. Relax down into that other foot and bring the opposite leg up. And again, as high as you want toward your heart, you can pull it way in or keep it close to the floor. And when you're stable, remember we want to circle the ankle 
and make sure that we're staying as flexible as we can. And when you're ready, release that one down after you flex and point into strongness. Getting back into both feet, take a moment and reach toward the ceiling. Bring one arm out in front, bend your elbow, fingertips toward the ceiling, foot in toward the midline, other arm out at shoulder level, pulling it under, and bring your hands together if you can. If you can't, just backs of the hands together. Bring those thumbs near your nose and pull the elbows down and in. Feel that back of your shoulder area stretch a little bit. Breathe deep, exhale any tension, and then push your elbows slightly out and bring your hands up further toward the ceiling. Take a moment there, breathing, relaxing, feeling your body. Bend your knees slightly. Come into your base of the toes area and foot and bring into eagle balance. So bring your opposite of your upper arm <laughs> up and across and bring it to the floor if you need to or bend your leg if you can. So a little forward bend at your hips, ribs coming back and into your eagle balance as much as you can. Take a breath and when you're ready to release, unwind and fly away with those eagle arms, getting a little bit more release through the shoulders. Take a breath and into your surface beneath you. And of course, we have to balance the body and eagle to the other side. Arm out, bend your elbow, fingertips up. Come into that midline again, other arm out. Swing it under and see if you can touch the palms this time or backs of the hands. Again, pull the elbows down and in. Feel those shoulders stretch a little bit more. Take a breath. Sink evenly into your feet. Elbows out, hands further up toward the ceiling if that works for you. And then bending your knees just slightly. We're going to bring that opposite leg up and over. So sinking into your other balance foot, bring the knee up and cross it over. Foot to the Thumbs touching down if that helps, or behind your leg if that works for you. And again, core activated, supporting hips slightly back behind you. Keep breathing, maximize or minimize whatever works for your limbs. And again, to release, foot coming down, arms flying away, and working back and forth to release any tension in those shoulders. Take a moment and breathe, circling those shoulders, and again, hands to your heart. Take a breath, let that balance stress go. Inhale your hands toward the ceiling. Let's do a little back bend with those thumbs behind you as you gaze up. And then swan dive forward, arms coming out, pivot at your hips, drop into ragdoll. Lift your sitting bones, relax your head down. Circle your chin a little bit. Pull in a little deeper with your hands behind your legs if you want. And then bending your knees and all the way to the floor. Child pose transition with your hips on your heels or in that direction. Hands, palms up, shoulders down. Take a breath. Just relax. And as you come into your forward position, just feel that whole back of your body get a good stretch going. And then inhale, sit up and slide off, coming into a, uh, let's come into staff position initially. Sitting bones behind you. Oh. Feet pressing out through the heels, toes pulling back. Shoulders circling around a couple of times, releasing. Core activated, supporting that low back as always, lengthening up through your spine, through the crown. Take a moment and breathe, just focusing inward, feeling your breath. And let's bring your feet in, hip width apart, bottoms of your feet on the floor. Knees straight up, so remember, you need, may need a little roll in at the top of the thighs to make sure that they're not spreading apart. 
And we're going to see, stay on the sitting bones, but activate the core. So we're using the core for a little support as you lean slightly back, but staying on the sitting bones, not going onto your sacrum, lower back area. Hands, palms up, sitting bones connected, palms up, head reaching back. Keep that body lengthening out through the crown. And we'll bring one foot up just a little off the floor. If that feels okay, you can bring that calf shin parallel to the floor. And if that feels okay, you can straighten your whole leg. Stay on your sitting bones, don't roll back. So thighs parallel to each other, if that works for you, and the base of the toes spreading apart and through the toes and the base of the toes are reaching away. If that hip is feeling like it's working hard, you can lower the leg. It doesn't have to be that high. So take a moment, breathing, shoulders down, head reaching away, sitting bones connected. And if you're starting to vibrate, yeah, that's your core working. That's good. But go ahead and bring that foot down. Stay there if you like to work the core or sit back up and take a little break. We're, of course, going to do the other way. Balancing things in. Shoulders stay down. Whole spine is straight and long. Sitting bones are your connection. Core is activated. So bring the ribs toward your spine and up toward your heart, toward your brain. Palms up just to keep those shoulders relaxing away from your ears. And when you're ready, lean back a little bit as you bring your foot up to whatever position you like. Out through the base of the toes, or just bent, or close to the floor, or straight leg but lower, whichever is your option. Remember, personal practice. Do what's right for your body today. Take a breath out through the crown, and whichever position your leg is in, just let it do whatever it needs to. Take another breath, and as you exhale, look down. And again, staying there or sitting up and releasing a little bit. So yeah, we're going to do both together. It will be more challenging. It's okay. If you start to vibrate a lot, just put your feet back down. Go back to a lower level with the legs. It's okay. Or there's an option that takes a little bit out of those hip flexors by holding your foot or your toes as you're in that straight leg position. So lots of options depending on where your body is. We're going to, again, keep the shoulders, shoulder blades down, whole spine straight, reaching out through your head, hands, palms up, just to keep those shoulders released. Core active, leaning slightly, but not too much back. You want to be on the sitting bones. And when you're ready, feet up a little or more, or straight out, or hold your toes and take those hip flexors out of it and just let the core do the work. Take a breath, exhale tension. You can stay there with everything straight, or you can bring the legs out a little bit more and just experiment to see what works best for your body. Out through the base of the toes, out through the crown, keep that core working. If you're feeling vibrating, remember, you can bring the legs down, or you can hold on, or whatever you need to, to make it easier for your body, because effective yoga is effortless. Take a breath, stretch it out, do what's right for you. And when you're ready, yeah, go ahead, slowly bring those feet down, slide them out, release those hips, relax that core, and just roll slightly forward and relax. And then inhale, sit back up, and take a moment feeling what's going on for you. And then we're going to bring the feet together, knees out toward the sides, clasp under your toes, pull those heels in as far as they want to go. And let the knees come out, give that inner thigh a little stretch there. Take a moment, shoulder, shoulder blades down, core active, round reaching up, and just relax the knees toward the sides into Buddha Bring your hands back under you right under your shoulders on the floor, fingers or palms down, whatever works for you, and then a little pressure into those hands, and that releases some of that hip, inner thigh, brain, 
And let's maybe those knees come down more. Bottoms of the feet up toward the ceiling, helping those knees again release, maybe a little bit further. Chest forward slightly up, round toward the ceiling, get that core working, pull those ribs toward your spine and up. As it happens, maybe that releases that thigh area and lets those knees release maybe a further or not. Personal practice, remember what's right for you. And release your hands back to the front, lift your knees, and again, bring those legs out to the center. Take a moment there, feeling how your body is responding today. Keep that core working, supporting your spine, sitting bones slightly behind you, crown to the ceiling, and we'll dive our dolphin. So bring your right foot to the inner thigh, knee out to the side, and however it needs to go for you. Knee to the left knee to the front, bringing that left heel back by your left hip. Remember, not under, just near it. That hip will come up, that's good, because we're gonna stretch the spine apart and twist, turning toward that right knee, the first one again. Ribs back, rounding, exhaling, tuck the chin, and dive under, forehead coming down toward your knee, and then rotate your face forward, lift your chest forward, heart high coming up to the sun and the sky in a nice little back bend. So you're diving your dolphin, exhaling under the water toward your knee, inhaling up toward the sun and the sky with your inhalation and back bend. So rounding your spine, we're working the spine a lot today. So just let it do its thing as you dive and loop. So you're the dolphin. Feel your spine, feel your breath, feel your body. And imagine all that playful dolphin work along the shore. The next time you come up to the top, pause. And as you exhale, turn back and release back into staff position. Feel your spine more energized from all that spine work. And our dolphins want to go back where they came from. So sitting bones behind you, spine active and supported, core supporting as well. Left foot to your inner right thigh and right heel coming back near your hip. Let that be up so that you can twist, lengthening up, Exhaling and turning into that left leg. Ribs coming back, rounding forward through your whole spine, through your shoulders, through your chin and neck, and as you exhale, under. And then inhaling as you come up to the sun and the sky, lift your face toward the heavens as you round your back into a nice back bend coming up. Diving under, exhaling down, inhaling up, Follow your breath pace, however feels right for you, as your dolphin leaps back through the waves along the shore, going back with its pod of other dolphins in a friendly dolphin manner. And as you exhale, feel that whole spine lengthen. As you inhale, feel that whole chest open. And on an exhalation, turn back to the center, releasing into staff position. And bringing your feet to the end of the mat, activating that core once more as we slowly roll to the floor. And when you get down, just take a moment there, relax. Bring your arms to T position, sitting bones toward your heels, and your knees, heels, and near your hips, feet flat. We'll do one more really brief twist. So feet lifted off the floor, knees above your hips. Roll the knees to one side, turning your head to the opposite side. Hands, palms up or down your chest. Keep those shoulders though down on the floor, getting that middle back in the chest. Turn your head, neck area twist, and just let those knees come toward the floor as far as they want for your lower back twist today. Take a breath. Exhale into it, let those ligaments release. And then heels toward your hips, roll onto your back. Straighten things out if you need to, and bring the knees to the other side. And again, turn your head the opposite direction. Shoulders down, 
And maximize or minimize, remember, personal practice on your choice. Knees going down for that lower back, head turning for the neck area. And of course, shoulders down for that whole middle back in your twist. Take a breath, always exhaling into it as much as you like. And then heels toward your hips, roll onto your back. Feet to the floor, slide them out, hip width apart, toes toward each other, and then just relax your whole body. And now feet slip, separate slightly, hands, palms up slightly away from your hips. Shoulders sinking toward the floor. And just feel your whole body sink into that surface beneath you. And know that Mother Earth will support you. Just let it go. Softening everything. Lots of spine and torso work today. Shoulders. A little bit of the hips as well. Let that whole body just relax and release. Deepening, growing heavy sinking into the earth's support. And as you let your body go, just allow thoughts of your body to release from your awareness. And as those thoughts release, know that other thoughts will come to you. It's always the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. At this moment, let those thoughts drift away as easily as your breath. No need to remember the past. No need to anticipate the future. Just let the thoughts droop, your body to sink, and your awareness to release both your body and your mind. And just let that awareness focus inward, finding the peace deep within. Feel your body, feel your mind, and be peace. Keep relaxing as long as you have time today. If it's time, or when it's time, to get ready for the rest of your day, just be enjoying energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. Begin moving your body however feels good for you as you breathe more deep. Begin stretching more complete. And when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, Sitting bones toward your heels, heels up toward your hips, and knees drawing toward your feet. Wrap your arms around for that appreciative yoga, however feels good for you today. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready. Or whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.